Hello. Um, if you're on a Mac but you need to do Linux development, one thing that you could do is use a Linux Docker container to build and run code that's already on your Mac. What's better though is that a couple different IDEs have support for essentially attaching to the container to perform the build and run steps all while staying in the IDE that's natively running on your Mac. Uh, which is really useful for when you want to actually debug your code in the IDE. I'll show you how to do that in this video. By the way, I have a video for doing something similar on Windows, but instead of using Docker, we use WSL. And I'll link that in the description. So for this, what you'll need are three things. You'll need your IDE. In this video, I'll be using Visual Studio Code which is hard to say, so I'll just say VS Code. You can also do this with C-Lion and probably other JetBrains IDEs. I'll link their instructions below, though I haven't tried them. And if you're not using either of these IDEs, I'd try Googling for something like attach to Docker container, debug, and then the name of your IDE. Second thing, in VS Code, you will need a plugin called Remote Dash Containers. This gives Visual Studio the magic sauce for talking with the Docker container. And then last but not least, the other thing you'll need, of course, is Docker. And I'm using whatever version this is, 4.1.0. You could also install this using Homebrew. So at a minimum, you'll need to know how to write a Docker file. With this method, it's actually not a strict requirement to even know how to run the Docker container since VS Code will do that for you. But these are pretty low bars. So if you don't know how to do either thing, just look up the tutorial, follow the official you know, getting started guide or whatever. Just something that walks you through the basics. Okay, so now onto the configuration. Check out your code on your Mac per usual. I already have something checked out here. It's the same project that I used in the Windows video, Raw Therapy. Raw Therapy, by the way, is a raw image processing program. Anyway, in the root, you want to add a new folder called .dev container. We're gonna add the Docker file and a config file to this folder, which will be used by the remote containers plugin for building, attaching to, and configuring your container. So for my Docker file, I just call an install script. You don't need to read all of this. Basically, you just want to install whatever you normally use for building and debugging. So in my case, I'm installing Clang and CMake and some other libraries that I need for raw therapy specifically. The other thing you'll need is this dev container file. This was copied from the documentation for that VS Code plugin. The main thing to update is the extensions block so that the plugins you normally use for development are also running in the container. So for example, I use CPP tools for debugging C++ code and VS Code, CMake tools for CMake integration, Clang D for code insights and code completion, stuff like that. Normally they'd be running on my Mac, but since the code is accessed, by VS Code via a volume mount on the container, the extensions actually need to run in the container. And then the other thing I updated here was the Docker file, just because I didn't use a standard Docker file file name. Now that we've configured, first of all, you gotta make sure you have Docker running and Docker is running here. And then in VS Code, we're going to run the remote containers open folder in container command. And then from there, select wherever you checked out your repo. And VS Code will automatically detect that dev container folder that we created, read that config file, that dev container.json file. It'll build the Docker file that you specified. By the way, the next time you run this command, it'll just use the existing container that was already built in the step. But anyway, so you can expand out the log to see you know, what's going on. You can see the progress, it's building the container. Once the container is built, the plugin will run the container, load the extensions you specified, and then attach VS Code to the container. And now you can do your normal development process. And in essence, everything is running in the container. Code insights, debugging, building, Git, etc. And VS Code is just giving you a view into that. I'm going to build the command line executable. All right, so this is done building. I guess I should try to run it.
Cool. I think debugging is just your normal workflow. So we got debugging working. Normally I do this with CMake presets and it's easy to just specify the target, but I had to actually specify the full path to the built executable. I changed the MI mode to GDB and the my debugger path to GDB. I think when I had tried this with LLDB, I think there either isn't good support for it or something like that. And I knew that GDB worked. So I just changed it to that. And then VS Code was saying that it couldn't recognize the file format of this launch.json and just did a quick search. And apparently uh, the pre-launch task that was here should be removed. So now let's say that you wanted to attach to an existing container, like you didn't want to have to set up that .dev container folder. You can do that. You'll just have to mount the volume yourself and install the plugins yourself afterwards. But otherwise it's the same thing. To do that, we will start the container and then we'll mount it to workspace and then the container here. So if we go to workspace, we should see our repo. We can run the program that we had built previously. And then in VS Code, we're going to attach to running container. It'll detect the containers that are running. Select yours. What you wanna do is open the folder containing your repo. And now it's basically as it was before. Oh, that's because we have this build directory. Delete permanently, run CMake again. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye. So check out your, um, so check out, let's see. So, uh, it's just Docker, or not Docker, brew install dash, 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 cask, doctor, duh. forget it. Just install it on the web using the, using the official installer.